Salutations to folks. This is your fabulous leader, the Queen of Shade, coming at you with another special presentation. I am rolling full speed ahead with um, talking to people and conversations with people that inspire me, uplift me, that have stories that I've met on social media and follow them and they follow me. And having said that, I have someone very special that I would like you all to welcome and to meet. So without further ado, I would like to introduce you all to Mr. Jason Zhu. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm doing fantastic. It's so great to see your face. It's great to <laughs> see you your like, face. You're too. just like, you're like glowing. Like, it's just so wonderful to see like where you're at now and like just knowing like I've been like following you for like some period of time and just seeing like the evolution. Yeah. And I'm just so like grateful that like you're still around. I'm super like happy that you're like, you know, thriving. So it's like super beautiful. Like I'm really like, you're just doing your own thing. Like you're just not concerned about what other people are doing. So like, I love it. I love it so much. I truly really did. Thank you so much. And you know, what's so funny. I, I've, I've had, opportunities i've been in the entertainment business for 20 years and i've had opportunities mm -hmm. so i've had opportunities to go mainstream and i just mm -hmm. don't like i don't like what the contracts say i don't like the obligations i don't like i don't like the pay yeah. it's just it was just too much so i walked yeah. away i walked away and to a lot of those companies dismay they told me i was crazy they told me i'd never be yeah. anything. you know they told me i was making a huge yeah. mistake but you know, oh, yeah. but at the end of the day, I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes like I tell people all the time, it's like, it's not about like, excuse me, uh -huh. being like the most popular, you know, the most like commercial. It's just like truly just staying like true to who you are as a person and like what you want to present out into the world. Mm -hmm. So like your level of success is like, you know, granted by like what you like you know design it to be mm -hmm. and so like for me like when people get like oh I want to be like you know the next Beyonce the next Rihanna you know next little this and not it's just possible like, <laughs> just don't, don't 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 even try to do that like just right. do your own thing and like just allow it to just flourish the way that it should you know right. like right like it's so crazy because um you're saying all the things that my brother said to me right before I got on. Like he, uh -huh. he texted me and he was like, we were both trying not to cry. I'm like, listen, I just did my makeup. And he's like, yeah. no, he's like, no, you're glowing. You're really doing it. You're really doing what you always said you would do and wanted to do. So I thank you for a acknowledging that you follow me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, like, and then, you know, and then speaking such words of positivity into my life. So we're giving each other flowers because yes, I'm a I'm a huge fan. Yeah. Of yours. So I'm a huge fan of yours. Yeah. We're, we're, we're giving each other flowers. So you said yes. you said you were um before you started. You said you had an event. Where are you today? Yeah, yeah. So I'm home in uh, San Diego, um, okay. and we're just hosting a private uh, leather event. Okay. Um, it's kind of like a social demonstration and things like that, uh, where we kind of just fellowship together, you know, mm -hmm. just enjoy each other's like company. So yeah, so right. they're, they're doing that, and I'm here talking to you, you know. <laughs> so wait, okay, before I fire my questions, because I don't even think this is going to be a question thing. I think I'm just going to talk to you the way I've been talking to everybody. So yeah. what's your degree in? So what's so funny is that like, so my original major was human communications. Um, I actually switched it out and got my associates in applied science and just general studies. Um, so that means that I just took a shit ton of classes. And I know like <laughs> a shit ton of stuff and like I had like a path that I was going on and I decided to just divert off of that path. Um, and now I'm here today, you know? Like. <laughs> you're, you're allowed. The reason I brought that up is because I follow you very closely as well. And you maintain a presence on social media, but I also notice that you're very private. So, you know, like, yeah. And that, and that is a good thing because everybody knows you. 
So yeah. to maintain yeah. that level of privacy is really, really yeah. commendable mm -hmm. when everybody's trying to get their paws at you. And yeah. I just remembered, yeah. I remembered reading something about you getting a degree and how difficult it was. And, you know, so yeah. I just wanted to, you know, give you your kudos, yeah, no. like, keep going. Yay! Thank you. Yeah, no, 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 absolutely. I mean, I'm considering, like, going back, but, like, I I really have to like kind of just figure out what path I want to like go on because I have had like a little gap you know the pandemic and stuff like that yes. um but you know just moving in this way now like uh not allowing just my my advocacy my my porn just all like just really just pouring into like my my artistry and being just an artist and really creating and however you kind of like follow me on that path like that's just where i'm going so it's just like right now i'm just like kind of flipping narratives and just really trying to figure out like hey where do i want to like be next um so yeah so i'm glad that you mentioned the school thing because it's like it's something that i was considering but um yeah, I just, you know, it's right not, now I'm just, I'm creating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like it, it, it's, yeah. Not for, <laughs> it's not for everyone. Like it's not for everyone. So I, I, yeah, up, no, I, no, I, God, it's, oh, it's, it is, a, it is exhausting. I, it really is exhausting, but it's worth it in the end. But, you know, even if it's not in like the cards, you know, I am living a fulfilled life for self. So, so tell them, um, what your occupation is? What are you currently doing? What is Jason Zoo doing currently right now? What does he so do? Yeah, so currently, like, I'm just honestly just being like an artist, um, you know, like growing up in like the inner city of Baltimore, like I really didn't like have that like opportunity. Like, don't get me wrong, like when I was in high school, like, yes, but like, you know, like growing up and like really like, you know, I didn't go to school straight from high school. Um, so, you know, I had to work and stuff and now to be able to be in a space to just no longer be more than just, you know, being undetectable man, you know, being more than the person who created Takedown Tina, being more than, you know, a cocky boy exclusive. It's just like pouring in and just seeing like, well, what am I capable of? And so that's really what I'm doing right now. And it's just like exploring, like I'm taking guitar lessons, you know, I'm really like getting into like, you know, singing, you know, I'm really like honing in on dancing and just like really like creating just art to really just blend in. And, and somehow it is gonna, you know, be a beautiful, you know, story of how like, you know, all of this happened. And like, you know, I'm really like, I, I, I have the vision uh, I just don't want to say what the vision is. However, it, it's just all of these tools are just allowing me to get to the place of where the finished product is just going to be super beautiful. So I'm still creating, you know, content. Don't get me wrong. You can still subscribe to my Just for Fans uh, because, you know, uh, money is important. Hey, sometimes. <laughs> yes. Jesse as an artist, the film right. entertainer, all of that. It's very right, important. Right, right. Guitar lessons are not cheap, cheap. you know. Going right. to the studio is not cheap, you right. know. Right. <laughs> Those canvases are not cheap. Right. So you know what I love? You know what I love? Like people don't understand that um, we are all given a path in life and mm -hmm. we have to follow that path. And I love when that path um, opens up and allows you to do, because like you said, inner city of Baltimore, I was going to ask you where you were from, you know, inner city of Baltimore, and then you go to California and you're opened up to this world. And, you know, there's a lot of different steps on the way, but yeah. I love hearing, and I can feel from you, this is just me being a shaman, that, you know, there's not really a lot of turbulence right now. You're really in a position where you've done a lot of hard work, and now it has opened you up. And like you said, you're able to take guitar lessons. You're able to paint. You're able to do these things that you really want to do. You know, it's like you kind of do yeah. what you have to do so that you can do what you want to do. Yes. Yes. But you know what? I mean, if and, 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 and I don't want to like, you know, paint a story like it's like super easy because for me, oh. like, you know, I, I, I've. I've, I like to work outside of just like, you know, like I like to have like a regular, like, you know, nine to five type of situation. Yeah. So to now be able in a space where like, it's not saying I don't need it, mm -hmm. but I'm just not like, I, I don't require it as much. Mm -hmm. 
it's like stress like you're like i'm like like oh my god what am i doing what's going on you know like and so like what i want to like you know tell people is that if you ever have this opportunity to really just focus in on like just being like an artist or like creating however you want to and so like used to coming from like a professional type of world it is not easy it is really not easy and then and in, in, in addition to that just now I'm like you know as how I identify as a person, you know, being genderqueer now, you know, so it's just a lot of like revealing things that are just like happening in my life, which is like, I'm like grateful because I just feel like, you know, I'm growing, you know, it's hard, but I'm growing. <laughs> yeah. Do me a favor. Um, explain to us, because even me, I'm kind of rusty. Explain to us what genderqueer means. Yeah. So genderqueer is, uh, it falls under the umbrella of non-binary. Um, and what it is, is that I, I, either identify, you know, with male or female, or I can identify with neither or both. Um, so I thought it was a, a, a beautiful way because I feel as so, though, um, you know, when you tell people you're non-binary, um, for a lot of people, they kind of uh, go to a politicized type of like, you know, mindset or they try to, you know, like, it's kind of like dismissive. And so when you say genderqueer, it's like, well, what is that, you know? And now we're allowing each other to kind of like, we're, we're in a moment of education, you know? And so where someone can actually understand where I'm coming from as a person and not being so dismissive, you know? I fucking love you. <laughs> like, I just, I'm, I'm trying to like keep my composure. Like, I'm just gonna let it go. I'm just gonna let it go. Like, I'm not Diane Sawyer. I'm not Diane Sawyer. I don't have to be. You know, like, I just, I just fucking love you. Like, I just fucking love you. Like, I love the energy that I'm feeling. I love what you're saying. I love that you are happy. I love that that, yeah. that art is allowing you to be happy because a lot of people, I'm just gonna say this, a lot of people in life, they are doing, like you said, what they feel they have to do. They are doing the nine to five. They are doing this and they have dreams. They have dreams oh. to step away from that world. And like you said, what I heard in there was, you know, a lot of people can't handle the free time. It's like, you have a lot more free yeah. time, a lot more time to create. And yeah. you, have to, you have to fill it with all of these things yeah. that, that give you purpose yeah. in life. And yes. you know, people, like people yes. that much, yeah, that much freedom is like, yeah. it, it's like, oh my God. And you're right. Like I, I worked retail. I worked retail uh -huh. out of college for years. Uh -huh. And then like, I even got to be a phone sex agent for two years. I was a girl. I played a girl uh -huh. for years. And, but it was still coming at this time and leave at this time. And now yeah. I like, and now like even today when I was preparing for this interview, smiling to myself, I was like, oh, I can't wait to do this. I'm in my bed and my cat's on my bed and I can take my <laughs> time. And I'm like, what Yay. am I going to wear? And what, how, uh -huh. what wig am I going to put on? And, and that, you know, even as, as you were saying that, I, I would not give this up for anything. Like I would not. Like, no. I would not. like you said, money is important, but there are so many other things that are so so much more valuable like peace of mind come on okay come on. like okay. peace of mind like tranquility like yes. happiness like yes. joy yes that <laughs> yeah. is why, like legit like i i i do not think people are just bad people it's right. just that for me like i just now like you know before like i would hang out with her i describe everybody as like you know i was the naruto Okay. You know, and now, you know, now I'm a little bit more Sasuke, you know, yeah. it's not saying I really don't like you. It's just yeah. saying, you know, I'm a little bit cautious before I let you in, you know, yeah. you might get like, you know, some surface information that seems like deep to you, but it's really not that deep to me. It's just saying like, Hey, you know, like we're building that, you know, foundation, but it's just, I, I, I cannot give my energy to everyone anymore mm -hmm. because I realized that like people you know, you come through being smiley and happy and everything. And like, don't get me wrong, I could be like, I'm a black person in the United States. Yes. Okay. You know, from the South. Yes. I could be angry all day. All day. Every day. All day. I got, I got, when I wake up in the morning, I got about 10 things I could be pissed off about. <laughs> However, I just choose not to. And so for some people, it's just like, it's, it's it's too much to handle when you come into a space and you're just like smiling and like like they just want to destroy that and it's just like no like we can all smile together how can i make you smile how can you make me smile how can we make this space you know inhabitable for each other yeah 
I agree. With this, um, with this uh, space that you're in, this territory that you're occupying, would you say that you um, have a big chosen family? Like, or is it a small circle? Yeah, my circle is, is definitely like, is small. Um, and, and I say that because I'm just now like, you know, as you get older, mm -hmm. you start to reevaluate because some things, you know, you meet people from like college, you meet people because of, you know, you, I was in the uh, uh, adult film industry, you know, yeah. like I, I was, you know, in advocacy. And so we have those connections on those levels and understanding that, you know, it is more of like a business aspect than actual like a friendship. Right. And so like now I'm like understanding, like especially like pulling away from certain things. Right. Like I have the opportunity to kind of just sit back and like, you know, be grounded in this in the fact that like, hey, okay, these are, you know, they're not, we're not saying that we're not friends. We're just yeah. not close friends. Yeah. And the friends that we are are maybe on like a business aspect rather than a personal aspect. Yeah. And so I, I have to start like navigating through that and understanding. So for me, honestly, it's really, really, really small, like right. extremely small. Like, yeah, it's yeah. just super small. You know what? I have to segue here. What are you currently reading? I want to know what you're currently reading because I am loving this. Like I'm loving like, like what you're filling yourself with, what you're filling your spirit with, your mind, with your soul, your body. What are you reading right now? So do not shoot me. However, I do not enjoy reading. I okay. cannot stand it. But if it's for research, yeah, that's how I trick myself because it has to be for research. <laughs> right. If it's for research, I'm a little bit more committed. However, I am reading, uh, which I need to get back to because it's super like, you know, collegiate and just like, sometimes I have to, like, I have to start writing things down, but it's uh, black on both sides. Yeah. Uh, I believe it's a, a trans, ex uh, like it's like black trans experience. Yeah. And so they talk about, you know, like how, uh, how they literally like, you know, started the mutilation of right. like, you know, black slaves, like, you yeah. know, bodies and stuff like that so it's just it's, oh, it's yeah, interesting it's just a lot I'm, I'm like, yeah deep. it's a lot that's too deep. <laughs> that's, i'm like that's too deep wait no okay let me change my question let me rephrase my question because we don't really like reading like that what are you currently watching let's let's do it that way what are you watching okay sweet uh so i am watching um Wow, what am I currently watching? Oh, I know I'm watching Hawkeye, which is okay. kind of interesting. Okay. Uh, I'm also watching Young Justice, The Phantom. Okay. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, I mean, I love the news. I try to tune, tune out sometimes, but yeah. like, you know, the PBS News Hour kind of gets me sometimes. Um, a little Tucker Carlson, if you're nasty, yeah. uh, just get another perspective. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah I, I'm pretty much just watching like and I'm really boring like I watch anime I've been watching like movies and stuff um, a lot of times I just listen to music yeah like that's my thing is just listening to music like I love music like music yeah. to me it's just like it's like life to really like experience it especially something that's like you know orchestrated it properly is really good you know what i'm gonna go down the gambit so what are you currently listening to besides my music <laughs> yay how did you put a new one out since the last one um no i, I haven't have... done a new one but i have four okay all right all right all right, all right cool all right, i think i have the last one okay, yeah because it's the white background with yeah. the uh illustration yeah okay yes. sweet sweet sweet, sweet. yeah luck. i have that one yeah okay yeah 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 because i got me that was the yeah that was the, that was the pre-game going out yeah um <laughs> anyway <laughs> oh but yeah no so i'm listening uh SZA has a new uh uh track out uh i hate you i'm listening to that uh dustin conrad uh life changing is pretty good uh what is it alania uh i'm listening to her um Flight Facility is really good. I actually went back. You remember the Buster Rhymes and Janet Jackson yes, song? Yes, oh yes. I remember that song exactly. God. Yes. I, that, 
Woo, that thing has like I've I've been up and also I downloaded because you know Aaliyah came out, so I downloaded that as well. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, and I downloaded, oh my God. Do you remember T Pain's album? Yes. <laughs> See? How about this? So did not realize, however, however, like you know, don't get me wrong, the times are completely different, but like T Pain was talking about HIV in like his album. Yeah. Like what the fuck? Like, don't get me wrong, it wasn't the best conversation, but it was a realistic conversation. <laughs> it wasn't the you know, best like I got it wasn't the best. It wasn't the best. But but you know, for 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 just a a black male to be talking about like just to have a conversation about HIV, it's fucking groundbreaking. Yeah. Yeah. Especially hetero. Especially yeah, hetero. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Especially being hetero. It it was yeah. revolutionary and you know, he got, he actually got a lot of flack for that from, from people he looked up to and admired. Like they kind of said he ruined music and, um, yeah, yeah with he, the art of tear. Yeah. yeah, he did. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't. I love those sounds. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Sound. He's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also, I, I went back and like, got, I think it's, what is it? Joanne Jet? I think so. Mm, sounds familiar. Yeah. It's like the reputation song. Cause I've been watching, we are here. Okay. Yeah, and I got it from there, which is, I love We Are Here. It's so cute. Uh, also, I've been watching Drag Race, Drag Race UK, um, <laughs> which I need to finish up on too. But yeah, no, yeah, it's been kind yeah, of cool. Yeah, I think Drag Race comes back to America in January. I think it's January. Yeah, because they have, I think it's a- uh, All new cis, queens. Yeah, I think it's like a, what is it? Is it a cisgender or straight or something? I don't know what it is. Mm-hmm. It's, it's something like that. that they doing something about. to mix it up. Yeah, they're doing something yeah. to pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> you like what I love about you is that you have such a healthy spirit. Healthy spirit. Happy Thank spirit. You. You're full, like you're full of life. And that is amazing. I'm not gonna ask your age, just nobody's business. We're young. We're young. That's what we are. Yeah, always. You know, an age is just a silly concept. It's like yes. I feel so like, you know. As long as you're still on like earth, like the earth is so like old. Yes. You know, the human existence and like how, like, like if someone's 80 years old, that's a yes. freaking blip. You're not like, come on, <laughs> like, you know, microorganisms have been here for longer than that. You know, they got like, you know, 20,000 kin out here. Like, get out of here. Like, right, right. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I like one thing is like, if I if I see a, a bug, like I'm not a big bug person, but I like we studied entomology in school, but like, Mm-hmm. You look at a bug and you have you could even think that you're going to like harm this bug and they look they stop and look at you like it's just so much processing and yeah. so much thought behind it yeah. I, end up, I end up not harming them because i'm like dude you know more than i do you know you know way more yeah than unless I it's a mis- unless it's a mosquito yeah they got they must die they're, they're vampires they must die i'm sorry I- i'm sorry i'm sorry but they're the vampires at me, i just don't like it I yeah. do not like it, and yeah. you will have to die. Yeah, yeah, they're they're they're, they're vampires. So, yeah. like, um, have, okay. So during the pandemic, you didn't do a lot of traveling. No, no, no. I mean, unless it was like you know up to LA, but like okay. that was it. it was very uh, sporadic. So yeah, okay. It, it wasn't. So are you making up for it now? Like, are you traveling different places? You said you're in San Diego, but you're 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 in San Diego because you live there. But have you done any traveling? Yeah. So I was uh, previously in Miami. Mm. Um, I, I I feel like I will have to go back to Miami like another time, but because I had just got back to San Diego, so right. it was just like way too much for me to be in Miami. So right. Miami is probably great. I just don't know if it's great. <laughs> and we'll try to experience it right. at some point, right. but I just needed to come back to, you know, and just like kind of like just process my life and not be somewhere else. So as far as like traveling right now, I'm kind of just like putting it on like hold. Yeah. Um, however, I do want to take the time to really go to a place where, you know, I can kind of just like turn off my devices mm-hmm. and like just get like, you know, a moment of like, you know, yeah, just like pure like peace yeah, and not be like so boggled down by everything. And so yeah. just like, I think that would be great. And, and also not have to like think about making content and just like, be you know in this space that's like you know like a beautiful oasis that's really what i want would be kind of cool you know it's so crazy you're right there's so much tech in this world that we just don't know 
how to just relax. I was I was doing yeah. it, I was doing it <laughs> yesterday with Dio, uh, Dionisio, and he said that one of his things, one of his words that inspire him is silence. He was saying, you know, yeah. you know, him and his his partner flies for the airline. So he was like, he spends a lot of time by himself. And he said that he always, you know, he he deals with that. We all as humans, oh, I should be doing more. I should be doing more. I should be doing this. I should be earning. I should be going here. And he said he had to learn how to quell all of that and just say, no, I deserve this moment of peace. I deserve this moment of silence. Yeah. yeah so. Do you meditate? Yeah, so I do. Uh, have I been a good practitioner of it? Uh, nope, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> I love how honest you're being. Like you're so honest. Like you're just like I, I meditate, but I haven't in a while. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I think I've meditated. Like I did meditate recently. It was probably like twice. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I feel as though like I, I, I've been doing like more of like stretching. Mm -hmm. um, because I, I want it to, you know, get, you know, some circulation going and stuff yeah. like that. And also I was just like really like tense, uh, but I really should get back into meditating. So thank you for that great reminder. I wasn't trying to remind you, I'm just, you know, I'm just, no. so, so how often do you work out? Uh, so for me, you know, and what I've do you do? For, yeah, I've been working out for so long that like, like, I have no desire to really, like, get, like, super big. Like, I'm going to be like, could I have a little bit more of a chest? Yeah, but, you know, am I going to put myself through that? Maybe not. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> so for me, it's just, like, really, uh, like, consisting of, like, how I eat and what I eat. Um, but I really like going on, like, walks. Um, I go to the gym because I really don't like running outside. So I really go to the gym when I run. Um, I love the if you I love the stepper. The stepper is like my best friend. Like yeah. love the stepper. Um, but I go maybe like you know, maybe three, maybe four times like or work out like at home. But yeah, yeah, I'm currently doing workouts at home, and I and I and what's so crazy is I'm actually seeing the improvement. You know, I didn't really do too yeah. much. I, yeah, I worked all through um the pandemic. You know, I had to be on the screen motivating everybody. So I didn't really yeah. do much and I gained weight, but like I've successfully like lost it all. And I'm just doing like bicycle crack kicks and crunches and push-ups and you know, just at because yeah. I still I still don't trust a gym. I still don't trust a gym. Like so I, I don't it's know. very difficult. Yeah, it's very difficult. But uh you said Yeah, it's very it's very difficult. Yeah. 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 So you were eating pizza before we started. But what's your what's your favorite food? Uh, that's why he's that's why he's releasing the guy i know yeah i should have i know i should have took a pepsi i keep on forgetting that i can't just like indulge in these foods without like a pepsi or something right um but anyway, <laughs> anyway um my favorite food would probably have to be doo -doo 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 -doo. i was gonna go with cereal for right now because yeah. i don't want to like force myself to think of like yeah. what is a favorite dish of mine yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, cereal is probably a, a it's an easy go to. Yeah, yeah. You know what I love? You're you're a big kid. You're a big kid. Yeah. A right. lot of people a lot of people lose that. And you should never lose that. No. You should no, never lose that. no. Yeah. I it, it it honestly it really helps me just like live in this world that we're in. Because like for me, like I'm always about like let's just have fun like let's yeah. always have fun like you know I, I, I'm a very active person yes. but it's just like you know I'm not stressing on you know let's go climb a mountain you know it's just like <laughs> let's just go for a walk you know right. and like you know we could be in silence or we could just you know like laugh the whole time but either way like it's just like so many times I feel like we're so you know forced into like oh I'm an adult I'm an adult you know like I when you're like growing up like as a kid you know like in, in, in your adolescence you're just like oh I want to be older you know I want to be ground you know I want to be ground and like at this point in my life it's like no I want to be young I want to be healthy yes. I want to be like you know at peace you know I want to be active I want to be fun because I don't want to be rigid anymore like I feel right. as though, like so many people especially through this pandemic you know it, it, that pandemic was stressful oh my god 
you know, it was stressful. And don't get me mm-hmm. wrong, you know, I might make I might make some sad boy music, <laughs> but like my whole energy is like, you know, like I'm super like, you know, positive, like let's have fun, let's like enjoy life, you know, like let's, that's just how I am as a person. And sometimes, you know, it, it, it works and sometimes it doesn't for people, which I'm okay with. Yeah. So wait, you make music? Yeah. So, yeah. So I'm in the process of making music. You know, I'm about to be one of those SoundCloud people. Yes. Uh, which is so cool uh, because. Congratulations. You know, so people... Yay. So, uh, but no, 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 for real. I, so I am, uh, I've actually kind of like gotten some things off of there. Um, however, that's why I'm taking a guitar lessons because I really want to like, you know, be able to like create my own like, you know, music so I can actually put it out there and not like rely so heavily on like, you know, like a, a beat from someone. Don't get me wrong. I love a good beat. I yeah. love a good beat. It's yeah. amazing. But, you know, I want to be able to, you know, just like kind of just like give like real, like not saying it's not real music, but just like, you know, music. So you just want to be playing uh, playing a guitar in Seville one day, huh? Just just in Seville somewhere, you know. You no, know, I mean, <laughs> in a cafe, one, in a back cafe, you just want to be just you know, your happy ass on the guitar, <laughs> like honestly, or like at like a bonfire, you yeah. know, like like it's just like it's just like honestly, like that would be kind of cool, you know, just sitting around, just having a good time and like peace and stuff. So I think that'd be really awesome. Yeah, you know what? That that's. I love when I find out that people are just naturally artistic. And I knew that you were. I knew that you were. Yeah. What's, what's your birth sign? So I'm a Scorpio. Woo! Oh, wow. My mother's a Scorpio. I'm a, yeah, I'm a double Scorpio. Okay. Um, and my uh, my rising is Taurus. Okay. So good signs. You got good signs. People, we love yeah. Scorpios. They're always so sexy and so yeah. charged and... Yeah, we love Scorpios. We love Scorpios. So if you could go anywhere in the world right now, like, and money was no object, where would you, where would you mm-hmm. want to see? Where would you want to go and what would you want to see? The Galapagos Islands. <gasps> oh my God. I can't believe you just said that. I want to go there. Yeah. Oh I know God. only because it has like, like the animals have like, you know. But like, the Komodo dragons are so huge. <laughs> yeah. I, that's, that's the, the one thing. thing. I'm I'm not interested in that. I'm no, not interested in me either. Dragon. I'm gonna need you, like you know, some meters away from me. Yeah, they're big and they're venomous. They just found yeah. out years, a couple of years ago, that they were venomous, and I'm like, oh no. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, the Galapagos are beautiful. Do you swim? Can yeah. you swim? So you know, I yes and no. Like Uh-oh. I'm one of those people that like I would be good at scuba diving. Okay. See. Okay. Because under the water. Yeah. Um, but however, like, you know, I'm still trying to get it. Because, you know, like, you know, I don't know about anybody else, but like growing up black. Yes. You know, I can't that, swim. That like <laughs> to push you in the water. No. You know, like to throw you in the water and <laughs> yeah. stuff. And it's just like, I, you know, I, 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 it's just a tap. You know, I'm a creature of the land. You know, I got to respect <laughs> the water. You know, you know, if I was an Atlantean, absolutely, I'm down right. for it. But I'm not an Atlantean, you know. Right. You know I'm, a, I'm, a, right. I'm an Earth child, you know. Right. So I gotta, I gotta right. be honest with myself. Right. Like I don't even want to go to the Bahamas. They have that Atlantis. I'm like, no, because if something goes wrong, we're underwater. I don't want it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. You know. I don't like, want come it. Out. Yeah. Like, where are my gills? You know, something yeah. because I need to be able to breathe. <laughs> yeah. No, I asked that question because water is very freeing for the spirit. I, when I'm like, especially with mu- music making, when I'm around water, I like my voice just sounds so much more charged and better. Mm-hmm. And like, that's one of the ways that my ancestors kind of helped me to kind of commune is yeah. like always around water. And yeah. Yeah. It's like, that's a, it's like a portal for me. Yeah. Huh? That's why I live in San Diego. Don't get me wrong. That's too, it's like really cold right now for like, right? beach, I mean, but, but yeah, that's why. Cause we have like beaches, like All it's just nothing but like the water. Yeah. Wow. The water. So it's, uh-huh. so it's not true that California is falling into the sea. You know, everybody's like, oh, it's falling into the Pacific ocean. Mm, that's more like Florida for sure. <laughs> He just damned Florida. <laughs> he just damned all them people. Like, yeah, they, they're going to hit the ocean before we do. Okay. Yeah. No, like, so I've never been to California. 
I've never been to California. Really? Yeah. You gotta no. go. They say it's you huge and there's so go. other like so many places to go, but get it. I don't want to go to LA. I want to stay as far away from Hollywood as possible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I totally because for me, I'm just like really like laid back. I mean, although people probably assume like I'm not, but like I'm really like <laughs> laid back and like don't get me wrong, like LA is cool and everything like that. But I would have to be like more like maybe like East LA or something yeah. like I, you know like I I don't want to be like West Hollywood. I'm yeah. Not saying West Hollywood isn't bad, but it's right. just not for me as a person. Right. Um, but yeah, like I drove uh, from San Diego all the way to San Francisco. San Francisco is I feel like I want to explore San Francisco a little yeah. bit more. Yeah. Um, and get like out of uh, where I think it's the Tenor or something like that, whatever that district is. Um, okay. And also like I. I want to get out of the Castro too uh, I think that's what it is but anyway yeah so yeah we should come like we can explore like we can like this they say that the state is so big though you're driving like hours to get to different places but like if you do like the PCH is kind of like nice because okay. like at least like you're able to like see the water okay um also like going like on train Okay. Like, especially from San Diego to LA is pretty cool. I've okay. never gone on a train from San Diego to San Francisco. I, I can only imagine how that is. Okay. Um, because I think it was like a six or seven hour drive for me from yeah. San Diego to San Francisco. Um, but it's not me. bad though. It's you better than me. <laughs> you better than me. <laughs> you better than me. No, my brother, I had a brother that lives in Chicago. I'm in Philadelphia. I had a brother that lived in Chicago. It took me 23 hours to get there on a train. I was like, no, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I drove from, uh, with my, my friend, uh, we drove from San Diego all the way to Baltimore. Oh. And that, and like, we went the top route. So we like, you know, stopped in like uh, Kansas and Colorado. Um, and then we went up to, we, well, we went to stop to St. Louis and then went up to Chicago and then uh, filtered on down. Um, but yeah, like, so driving, like, that was, that was, talk about like, and don't get me wrong, I didn't drive most of it at all. Okay, I was going to say, like, <laughs> I'd have been like, wake me up when we get there or when we stop for gonna- food. You, you know, I, I am that girl that likes, you know, to be under 200 miles. Right, right. Like, I'm not, I'm trying to fly. I'm trying to fly. I am. I'm trying to fly. I'm not trying to drive nowhere. Like, no, no, I have no. And don't get me wrong. I really don't like the planes either. Okay. Really you really like, are I'm an earth child. You like, I'm staying on this damn ground. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> you know, I, I would love the plane if it was like less people oh, or if yes. I was like, maybe like a, like, and, and it seems like really messed up, but like, if I was like in first class, you know, yeah. because like after a while, it's just like taking like a long flight. You're just like, oh God, yeah. this is so draining. Like, yeah. 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 You know what's so funny? I am, I'm what you call an extroverted introvert. I'm actually to myself, but I can give you a grand show. And when you said, you know, ah. few, fewer people, I was going to ask, like, is it because you just, do, do you get recognized too much or just too many people around? Like, what is it that makes you want to um, have less people around you? Is it because you can hear your thoughts better? Like, what what is that? Yeah. Yeah. So for me, it's like, you know, like one you know, it has decreased a lot of like the influence that I've have in my life. Right. Um, and just uh, it's allowing me just at this point in my life to kind of make my own way yeah. because not saying like, you know, my advocacy and like, you know, like being like for myself, like I never envisioned myself like pivoting into, you know, advocacy. I just was like, you know, doing like, you know, porn just because it's, right. it was something I've always wanted to do since, you know, right. 18. And I had the opportunity, to, you know, as an adult, you know, and not saying like at 18, I'm not an adult, but just being able to like, you know, live a little bit before I made the choice to like step into, you know, yeah. doing porn. Yeah. And I did it. And, yeah. you know, for me, I just very wasn't successfully, something. mind you, you're very good. Everybody loves you. I asked somebody the other day who their favorite co-star was and he named you. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> I've been thinking, oh, my God. But yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah. So now it's. um. So, yeah. So it's just like, you know, like porn was something that, you know, like I, I, I wanted 
to do and like you yeah. know so I never envisioned like the advocacy but you know I was grateful for the advocacy right and I'm trying to remember what the question was no, that I can, it's like, okay we like, answered it yeah, anyway <laughs> we answered it yeah. so tell yeah. me about your uh, I've been very curious about this for a long time so, so tell mm-hmm. us about your advocacy work and take down Tina you know and then we'll wrap it up yeah, so I mean, I started the initiative like Take Down Tina, mm-hmm. like initially to like you know spread awareness of like you know Chris Mack within like you know the queer and trans communities of color, mm-hmm. um, and you know just going through life and like you know moving to California and just getting like you know a a, a broader perspective. Yeah, you know like it, it's it's not saying that I do not my views do not align with Take Down Tina. Right. It is just that. Uh, I am not like cementing such a rigid, you know, structure to yeah. it. And yeah. so for me, like really what I'm focusing on is just like, you know, more of like a harm reduction aspect. Yeah. And like, I am not like your guru to tell you, you know, like how your harm reduction should be because look, I'm figuring out how my harm reduction is. Right? Be, you know, we all and, are. Being honest, being, and being honest with myself, like, look, I had a pizza today. Do I think I need the pizza? Huh? Like, you know, like, is, is this is these things that I have to like think about. What is it like that piece is going to give me, you know, some some burps, right? Should I really right. do that? You know, like, and so it's just like re, like, you know, uh, rethinking how I like do things so that I can live, you know, a right. long and prosperous life, you know. Right. right. And so. You know, like, so for right now, and I'm just like trying to figure that out because like mm-hmm. everything is new now, you know, like going at everything kind of like, you know, from a different perspective, yeah. um, as far as like, you know, my advocacy for, you know, like we was you and being an ambassador for PAC and everything like that, like, to be quite honest, like I've just put everything on hold mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because I felt like, you know, you know, it, it was the, it was the pandemic. Right. I had a, you know, a failed relationship. Right. You know, I had a car accident where my car flipped over oh. um, and then to and then to move back to, you know, like, you know, b- b- being, you know, for once not like, you know, because I, I was always someone who was, you know, non-binary, you know, but right. like, you know, being in Baltimore, you know, and growing up around uh, uh, an extremely religious family, you know, yes. like for me, I, I put it away, you know, so I was just like, okay, I'm not wearing this makeup today. You know, I'm not doing my eyebrows like this. I'm not wearing these tight jeans, you know, right. I'm not like doing all of these things because I want to, you know, appeal to a community so I don't get like, you know, beat up and, you know, like yeah. you're killed. Yeah. And so to move back to Baltimore, you know, having not lived there for some time, you know, it's just a lot. It was just so yeah. much and just like, you know, experiencing so many things. Yeah. And like, I just needed a moment for myself to just kind of like collect it mm-hmm. and just see like, okay, like in my mind, I'm saying, okay, yes, at some point I will always come back to advocating because it's my life. Yeah. And I've experienced so many things that, you know, could possibly connect to others in their life. Um, however, it is not the, it's not the, 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 the main crux of what I am focusing on. I'm focusing mm-hmm. on like self and yeah. really like developing self and just being honest with myself because sometimes it's just, it's kind of difficult because you start figuring these things out and you're just like, well, okay, cool. Like, that's what that was. Right. How do I process that? How do I heal from that? And if I can't heal from that, how can I like, you know, you know, live a life where it's not like, you know, continuously like beating me up. Right. You know, I was going to say, um, as you were finishing, yeah. it's okay to advocate for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, it's okay to make you the reason and put everything yeah. around you on hold, you know, yeah. and even with this work that I've done on the internet, I was doing it for me. I just decided mm-hmm. to turn on the camera and share mm-hmm. it, but it was actually my psychiatrist idea, like advocate for you. These are the things you need to yeah. say. And I mean, how powerful is that to be the person to give yourself the affirmation you need? You know, that's yeah, what I was doing. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was doing. Yeah, and that's and that's really what it was like when I started like, you know, taking on Tina, like I, I didn't really even have, like, I wasn't even like really just trying to start that, like, to be right. honest, like that wasn't my thing. I was just on Twitter, just like talking about like where, like I'm at and like, 
you know, like I, I feel as though like now, like I want to be like transparent. Mm -hmm. However, I still want to like protect my energy as a person because yes. like things are still like, you know, it's just, it's really fresh. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I, like for me to, like I'm already putting myself out there as far as like, it's like I never really sing in front of people. Mm -hmm. So for me to have like some type of like, like singing whether the vocals be like perfect or whatever the case may be right. like for me it's like no that's how I'm like getting out of my comfort zone to like right. do something and so for right now I just don't want to like you know be like oh you know I experienced this and you know like because I'm just not I'm not there yet you know like I'm trying to get comfortable <laughs> you're like girl like, you're like girl by you're like girl by yeah. I want to play with this guitar I don't want to yeah. worry about yeah. I don't like, want to worry about that like legit, I've like I've like coined this thing. I'm like the Rihanna of gay porn now. Uh -huh. It's like everyone's like, where's the fuck is the porn at? Where the fuck is the porn at? This bitch is playing with this fucking guitar. I have no time for this bitch doing the fucking guitar and fucking playing with fucking vocals. I want the fucking porn. This bitch is the Rihanna of porn. I'm telling you, I, I know it is. I know it. I get it. I get it. I absolutely get it. This bitch is not giving us the next the next level. We are looking for the next level, Jason. Like they get I'm telling you, Rihanna of gay porn. Listen, you are allowed to be the Rihanna mm -hmm. of gay porn. Mm -hmm. You are allowed yeah. because you know what I find. I even said this in my um in my recent interviews. I gave Instagram five and a half years of my life. Mm -hmm. I, didn't make, I didn't make a single dime. Mm -hmm. now I'm correcting that and getting my mm -hmm. money together yeah and it's like it's like I will always be the queen of shade I own the trademark I will always use that it's mine but I'm taking a break from them goddamn videos yeah. <laughs> I gave, like I gave y'all five and a half years of my life like like but it's I mean come on it's the same person in those videos I mean if you, right. if you love the person you could watch the video all, and all right like, over oh, like go ahead <laughs> go ahead but leave me alone go watch that <laughs> right. watch what I did <laughs> if you had three words that um you could say that inspire you what would they be let me say He's a Scorpio. He's saying them in his head. <laughs> All right. So it's not going to be three words, but this is just something I say okay. to myself and okay. like general. Yes. Uh, I just always like to remind myself over and over again is that like I'm healthy yes. and I'm happy. Yes. Because like sometimes for me, like, you know, I, like I'm a problem solver. I think a lot. And like sometimes like I'm like my worst, my own worst critic. Yes. And like for me, just to remind myself that like over and over that, you know, I am healthy yes. and I am happy, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you for your contribution to the world. Thank you for yes. not giving up and thank you. And I look forward to this next evolution. I look forward yes. to it. You better let me know when the music drops. You better let me know yes. what you're working on. I, I, yes. Because I, I want to support you. We know you and we all love you. We all love you. We love you. Everyone I've ever spoken to about you said that you had the most beautiful sp spirit that they had ever seen and that you were a good person. So, and to know that you followed me, little old me in my grandmother's townhouse, shading everybody. <laughs> no, <laughs> you all all comers. <laughs> no and, um, I love it so much. And I'm so happy and I'm trying not to cry. But don't yeah. cry. It's just so beautiful just to hear that because I just, I, you know, it's just, and especially just now being in this space, it's just yes. like to hear like, hey, you're doing a good job. You, you know, are. it's just. You are, you are. You're it just great. really means so much to me. Yeah, you're doing a great job. You are. And continue, <laughs> continue. So I thank you so much for that. Absolutely. My pleasure, my pleasure. So everyone, I would like to reintroduce you to Mr. Jason Zhu. I made him cry and now I feel bad. Yes. I feel bad, I feel bad. 
but what i said was good but what i said was good he needs to be himself he needs to do what he wants to do he needs to do what makes him happy he needs to do what makes him feel alive and we are gonna get off his back for this damn porn (laughs) and we're gonna leave him alone and we're gonna let him do what he does and that is take care of himself so thank you for interviewing with me. Thank you, for thank you me. so much. Yes. So I say, oh wait, tell you. everybody, because I know you're private. So tell everybody where they can find you online. I made you cry off your head. Oh no, 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 no. It was happy tears. It was actually okay. happy tears. Okay. But um, so you can find me on uh Instagram. It's right. gonna be Jason uh Zhu, that is J-A-C-E-N-Z-H-U. Mm-hmm. Um, you can also find me on Twitter from mm-hmm. my not for safe. It was a not safe for work. Okay. Uh, Twitter uh, is going to be Jason underscore zoo. Okay. Um, and then I'm also on Facebook, but I'm not as active on Facebook right. uh, because Facebook is starting to become like, you know, my space. Yeah. <laughs> and Instagram is trying right. it. <laughs> right. They all trying it. Right. Uh, so. Um, so, yeah. So you can just find me on uh, Instagram and uh, Twitter. Uh, Twitter. And if you do need to email me, uh, my uh, email address, because I, I don't mind taking emails, uh, uh-huh. is the Jason Zoo at gmail.com. Thank you so much. I'm going to put it all in the comment section. Yay. I appreciate you so much. I'm going to send you a copy of this. So don't worry. You'll have it. You'll have it to look at. Yeah. Also, those emails are for bookings. <laughs> Just yes. <like> you know. <laughs> A girl can still take a Serious inquiries only. Serious so inquiries if only. You are looking for a girl to shake a tail feather. <laughs> email me. There you have it. Say goodbye to everybody. See you guys later. <laughs>